John Bourbon here with FlipClass.com. Today I would like to share with you a, a tool we've come across recently called Microsoft Mix. Now first of all, this only works on a PC running PowerPoint 2013 or better uh, in terms of how you create the video. So let me walk you through this uh, creation tool. So you have to go to uh, office.mix.com and download the uh, free add-in. And if you'll notice here um, that I have a new button called Mix. And I want to show you some of the cool features of Mix. Um, in its simplest form, um, what you can simply do is just tap the record button and it brings up this screen right here. So you can see there's a, a record button, so if I tap on the record button here in the upper left hand corner, uh, it brings up this screen and it starts recording. You can notice one, two, three, etc. I can then tap on the screen here. I've got a Surface tablet here. I can draw pictures here. Um, I can even change the thickness um, of the uh, of the a font, if you will, and make a, a thicker line. I think you get the idea. So that's one feature of this. And what it does is it records per slide, if that makes sense. So it's it's uh, yeah, each slide gets a recording, and so you can kind of see um, the the slide recording and it's putting a recording per slide. There's also an option for a webcam, but the webcam, since I'm using the webcam with another program, it, you can't use it for two things. So that's that's sort of its simple um, uh, permutation. But let me share with you, I think, but a pretty cool um, other thing that's really powerful that it does um, is, um, I just cleared a screen here. Let me share something else that it does that's pretty cool. If you go to Mix, what you can do is you can also do what are called quizzes and video apps. And so what I can do is I can go to the video apps on the store or I can actually download them as I have done and I can go to my apps and here are the apps that I can have and these apps are ways for students to interact with the video content. So for example, I can choose a multiple response poll. All right, so I do a multiple response poll. It brings up basically a poll and it inserts it onto the slide, right? And so let's say that I'm, you know, in a lesson on um, uh, US history, I can type the question here. I can say, you know, who shot Lincoln? And then I can say Booth. Actually, this would be a multiple chess choice question, but I can say Booth or I can say Smith. This is actually, and I can add more questions and I can say Bergman. Hopefully not Mr. Bergman. You get the idea. And now what you can do is if you want to, you can preview this and this is where the class, the questions look, okay and I can now edit it and I can move this around. I can put a picture of Mr. Lincoln on there. I can move it, the screen, I can resize things. I can do whatever I want with this um, as, I, as, I, as I go around. I can move this around, you get the idea. But then when you upload the video um, to the Microsoft site, you're gonna get some analytics. You're gonna know who watched the video and how long they watched the video. Um, what you can then do, for example, is you can export uh, or upload to Mix. Now note, it's going to upload it to Microsoft's website. So here is my Mix. I'm going to say Next. You just kind of keep saying Next. You do have to create a Microsoft account and you haven't already done so. Um, it's going to um, prompt you to do that. Um, and uh, it's going to live there. And the goodness about that is it's going to allow you to uh, again, get those analytics that I talked about um, later. And I won't do this because I'm not going to take you to the Microsoft Mix website. Um, and um, let's get there. So the website is mix.office.com. So it goes to the website here um, and I can go to my mixes. And as I go to my mixes, um, uh, for example, I did a training recently with um, a bunch of different teachers and here it is right here is uh, flipping the flip class training. So I use this tool and 135 people have done this, this uh, watch this video and I can go to the analytics of this and I can see um, a lot of information. So by slides I can see 103 visitors visited the first slide, then 102, 101. By the way it seems like it's going down so we've got an issue. I need to bring up to the class if you will. I can also look at it by users and so if I look at the users here I can see what percentage of each person um, did this and also the percentage correct. Okay, and uh, you can kind of see this, or I can click by exercise. I had four little questions, and here are their responses to all their questions. So I get all this analytics uh, on the scene. So it's really a very, very simple tool. It's a Microsoft Mix or Office or Mix.office.com, and I encourage you to think about using this tool to interact and to help people to flip their class.